In this video, I am going to talk about chemiluminescence of lophin and luminol. So, first we talk about lophin. In this flask, I have 0.2 grams of lophin. And now I am going to dissolve this lophin in 25 milliliters of methanol solution. I am going to heat this solution a little bit, then we can easily dissolve this all luminol. Then we need to make three different solutions. We call those solutions solution A, solution B and solution C. For the solution A, I am going to add 2 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide. And I am going to add 22 milliliters of methanol. And this solution will be our solution A. For the solution B, here I have 1 gram of potassium hydroxide. Now I am going to add 5 milliliters of methanol. Then I am going to add 15 milliliters of distilled water. And this solution will be our solution B. For solution C, I have here 5% sodium hypochlorite 5 milliliters here and I am going to add 20 milliliters of distilled water and this will be our solution C okay here is the lofin solution and now I am going to add solution A that is hydrogen peroxide solution and this is solution B this is potassium hydroxide solution And now I am going to turn off the lights and add solution C, sodium hypochlorite solution. After synthesizing lofene, it was not a very popular chemical in chemiluminescence because it has a low intensity light emitting. Therefore, we have created luminol. In my previous video, you can see how I made this luminol. I will put a link in here. And now let's see how luminol is glowing. Therefore, here I have a basic luminol solution. And now I am going to add 1% sodium hypochlorite solution to this solution. Then we can observe a light emitting. 